like this? Where did all this indigo energy come from? Are the muses trying to stifle me? Hmm, you look like someone well-versed in matters of the grotesque. Uh, well, yeah. Well, I can see that you're begging to ask, so I'll tell you, yes. I am an artiste, a sculptor, of perceptions, of minds, of reality itself. Francesca. Ryan, I, uh, reveal fundamental truths about the self. Since the dawn of humankind, art has challenged us and elevated us. Now more than ever, it is art that will save us from our moral decay. You want to help save people, don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure. Then go out and collect me infected flesh. You can rip it straight from any of those mindless conformists wandering around. Or perhaps you already have some to donate. When you've got enough, put it in that bucket there. Uh, why the hell do you want a bunch of zombie meat? Oh, <laughs> how can you be so obtuse? I'm creating my magnum opus, my masterwork. I am Michelangelo, and you must bring me the finest vein marble. Now, go! Okay, okay, going. Nuttier than a fruitcake. You are. Good. Yes. My medium is death. For how else should we understand life? <gasps> Finally, the process can begin. The sublime pain and sacred pleasure of new creative birth. Well, I've done my part. My god, we've barely begun. I need rarer, more exquisite parts. I've been listening to the inane chatter on the radio. I've heard of marvelous and monstrous beasts around the city. I must mold their fantastical corruption. Seriously? Mark this. My artistic flow is paramount. I'll place my requests on the board up there. When you bring the matter, do not interrupt me. Just drop it in the bucket. And what am I getting out of this? We can trade for my aesthetic leftovers, but as I pass you the dregs of my creativity, consider what residue of your own will you discard. Don't answer, just let that stew for a while. <laughs> <laughs> 